In the 50s and 60s, really, poultry was the major agricultural industry here in Connecticut. We had the egg-laying business, and we also had a broiler business. There were small family farms, but many of them were started by immigrants. Yukon researchers helped farmers find the best breeder stock for egg production with an extensive testing program. The producers that had the best birds were the ones that were selling the birds to the public for the next year. Later on, we had broiler tests, so they find out which broilers are good. And that's how our breakers started. When Italian immigrant Frank Saglio left his job in 1926 as foreman of J.H. Hale's peach business, he called his new Glastonbury fruit and vegetable farm Arbor Acres. Frank's youngest son, Henry, loved to tend his family's small flock of chickens. Over time, with help from Cooperative Extension, Henry Saglio turned his passion into a successful chicken breeding operation. In 1948, Saglio won a nationwide contest sponsored by A&P Supermarkets to find the best broiler breeding stock. That win laid the groundwork for Connecticut's largest agricultural business ever with sales of $100 million a year. For more than 40 years, Arbor Acres sold as much as 80% of the world's broiler breeding stock. In 1999, Arbor Acres merged with the company that eventually moved to the south, citing the higher costs of doing business in the state. It would not be the last time that economic imperatives and regional competition would result in the loss of a huge Connecticut agriculture business.